not realize how aggressive these were when I bought it. I wish it was just cute and sweet. They're reusable like 50 times too. <laughs> Me. I think. Well, I don't. Happy Monday morning. I got the girls to the gym. It's pull up day, Liz. Have you done this yet? Oh, it is. It is. <laughs> now to cold plunge. This is. It's honestly, it feels a little bit warm out now. Hi, y'all. Before we get into the rest of this vlog, I wanted to share a Princess Polly haul. I've gotten some of the best pieces, guys. Like, look. The sweater alone is unbelievable like the quality is crazy it's a sweater dress i mean it's so good like i'm obsessed i got a bunch of pieces for winter i've been getting so into winter style i just thrive in fall and winter style to begin with so thank you to princess Polly for sponsoring today's video their shipping is amazing it ships within three to six business days in the u.s on all orders over 50 dollars they also offer afterpay and shop pay to all u.s customers and you guys can use code 20 kenzie for 20 percent off this sweater is so good. The quality is unreal. I'm just wearing it with some cowboy boots. I'm so picky when it comes to sweater dresses. I feel like I like the concept of them, but I don't actually like love the dress. And this is amazing. Like I just love this, even pairing it with a pair of tights, some heels, like, oh, so cute. Like red tights, red heels, I love. This dress is like the perfect holiday dress. Like so cute. Again, I'd probably wear it with tights. It's really good, especially if you're going somewhere that's kind of warm because it's obviously short. I wouldn't wear a bra with this, but. This outfit is perfect for any fun, like holiday party, especially like a Santa bar crawl if it's like warm enough where you live. But this is super fun. I think I'm gonna end up, I would wear it to the Santa bar crawl, but I think it's gonna be too cold here. I'm gonna end up wearing it. It's like one of my Christmas parties that I throw and host. Like how? cute is this fit and it's just like something you need to keep in your closet forever because you can use it for so many random different things this is another like great holiday dress like super cute this one's like sexier as you can see but i just think it's super cute i also like that it's like ruched everywhere it just makes it more comfortable out of anything in this haul this is my favorite it is the perfect fit for a holiday party i'm going to get so much wear out of this. I'm also gonna shoot my next campaign for a friend of mine because I love it so much. So there's these bow detailings and there's some on my hips as well. I'll show you the pants fit. I'm wearing black heels right now, but they, it's just so good. It like really snatches you in. It's super thick material. It's super comfortable. Like I wish that they had, like I need more things like this. Like this is amazing, but it's so, cute guys i love anything with a bow on it these days as you guys know oh my god i like love this it is so cute it's like i have a must in your closet this is like a must in your closet this winter it's so good i also got this top which i feel like is just a nice like wardrobe staple a nice way to spice up an outfit with this little detailing i love anything in this fabric from princess polly i have two dresses you want me to see them back there the blue and the brown dress over there um, in this material. And I just think it's so flattering. It's so comfortable. I love how this again is backless. Wow, again, another banger guys. This top is so flattering. I really wanted like a plain, basic, solid red long sleeve for the holiday season. And this is the one. Okay, this top is so fun. I have to like adjust it properly, but it is so cute. So I would wear like a lacy bralette under this or this is just like a basic top in your wardrobe that you'll wear over and over and over again. Okay, last but not least, this lacy maxi skirt. I think this is gonna be super cute as like a monochromatic look. That's what I picture. Even if I have like a cream coat, cream sweater, cream heels, I just think it's so fun. And also I really like the way it fits and these are so comfortable so anyways i got so many things from them that i love y'all can use my code 20kenzie for 20 percent off site-wide 
So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Let me know if y'all want more Princess Polly hauls. I love doing them. So let's get into the video. Hi guys, good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. Macy and I are finally taste testing her gift that she got me last week. You guys saw. Um, go watch the last vlog. Oh yeah, I forgot the mugs. I didn't. Good call. So I got normal like French vanilla creamer. Like, oh, perfect. Me. I literally haven't had that in years. Oh, it's so good. I had it yesterday. I grew up on that. Like that's all I ever had. Yeah. And um, I thought I would okay. fall asleep immediately. Wait, you thought you were gonna fall asleep? Yeah. But Macy's been dying to try. Yeah, you didn't even get like sugar free. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Gosh, fuck. <laughs> Um, we should tell oh, them about sorry. your hinge updates. Oh, guys, I, okay, Liz was over the other night, and she's, like, so, like, she, if you guys listen to the podcast, she's so good at dating and all that stuff, and, um, why am I now blinking? She redid Macy's hinge. Sorry, I got distracted looking at the thing. She redid my hinge, because I was, like, I just deleted my profile, like, I'm so over it, like, I was getting such weirdos, because... On my close friends on Instagram, I just kept like roasting these guys, and I felt like my felt like my algorithm got to the point where I was like, okay, we'll give you weird. Um, but I redid my profile, and it's basically like all a joke, except it's like cute photos and everything. Like I can show you if you want to see. Um, like you know, we just have like a little cute photo, all this stuff. But all the answers are a joke. Like I said, dating me is so fun. It's crazy. Um, typical Sunday watching so much football. I'm actually obsessed with the NFL. It's so crazy. I'm obsessed. So I've gotten really funny messages. Like literally, I wasn't having any, any conversations on Hinge before this. And that's why I deleted it. I was like, I'm not working. I'm getting such funny people. So... No, it's, it's been incredible. Tell them about the Dallas Cowboys cheerleader. This guy messages and he's like, I hear you're the best Dallas Cowboys um, cheerleader. Funny because I'm actually starting the sort of starting quarterback for the team. And I was like, oh my God, Dak Prescott didn't fill me in on this. And he goes, his mom comes to every game. We've been waiting for him to tell her before coach makes the announcement. And I just said, oh no, that's going to be so awk for him. And I said, we should carpool to work sometime. <laughs> Stop. That's actually so good. <laughs> so Macy's like a hit on Hinge right now. I'm a hit. It might, like, here's the thing with Hinge is, like, the excitement lasts for, like, a week, then it totally. kind of just, like, and dips down. I was actually, like, responding to people for, like, maybe a week and, like, having conversations, and then I was, like, hmm, I don't want to do this anymore. So, anyways. BRB. Guys, it smells so good. Well, Macy has to call in a minute, so, so she's not Yeah, like, you guys saw me yes. completely disassociate and, like, yeah. look at my phone. But actually, that's, that's, like, what it's like to be friends with you. Yeah, I just... Like, we'll be in the middle of a conversation, and, and just, there's something on your phone, and you're just, you're like... Guys, like, <laughs> my job doesn't shut off, okay? Like, okay. I'm just... I'm just the boss, babe. <laughs> that's all there is to it, okay? By the way, this vest is from Free People Movement. I'll link it. Everyone always asks about it. I love that one. Here's the thing. It was pricey, and it was one of those things that... I think it was Miss March or something. I didn't realize how expensive it was until I got to the register. I thought it was cheaper. And I was like, okay, well, I can't go back now. And I'm glad because I wear it so much. I have a free people movement jacket in that material. And I wear it every single day for three years. It's literally my yes. only jacket. Like, it's amazing. This is, like, the best vest, especially in the morning on walks. Like, I always wear it over, like, hoodies and stuff. I think I actually, like, wanted to buy that from you before we were friends. Ooh. Yep. Before we were friends. Oops. Okay, it's 11.45. I have a call. Bye. Wait. It's amazing. Really? Yes. So excited. Okay, guys. It is much later in the day. Um, Macy and I have been having a really nice co-working day. No, we're really outside. good co-workers. We're really good co-workers, and we're also collaborating, so... Guys, wait, can we, can you... I have something to say. Okay. I have always wanted to say, like, I'm working on a secret project, and we're working on a secret project. Yeah. Let us know if you can guess, guess. it in the comments below. It's like, you can guess, but you also can't at all. Yeah, like, it's gonna be, it's honestly... It's gonna be exactly what you wanted, but didn't think would happen. Yeah, and I'm like, it's like you're hanging out with us, Yes. but we're not there. There's only so many of us. No, there's only And we know people are dying to hang out with us. We wanted widespread chaos. Yeah, this, that was, yes. Yes, we need to add one of the. We need to put chaos in something. Like, would, do we get ad? Like, we get thousands of DMs being like, "How can we be your friend?" And you like, "Macy, hire us to be in your weddings." Hire us. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. You like Macy? We have a cheaper option. You can be like, Macy. Not that many people said that. Like, thousands. 
<laughs> like I think she got like three DMs. <laughs> like maybe. Um Oh my god, okay, this is really good. Anyways, it feels so nice out right now. My mom's coming over today, actually pretty soon, and we're gonna, she, I have my raised garden bed coming. I'm getting a truck next week so I can start working on all my other stuff around the house. But every time my mom comes, I just need help with like organizing. We're not hearing? actually, uh, like four. At some, she always says that, like she'll get here when she gets here, but I need to, um, have you met my mom? No. Oh my god, that's, no, yeah, you had that pop up. Yeah, I have. Um, so we're gonna, I need to go through like certain closets and figure out what I need organization wise there. Also like my manicure I got from Glam Squad like literally three weeks ago is the best manicure I've ever gotten in my life. Code Kinsey for money off. Guys, I just got the most insane PR package. I don't even know who this is from yet. This huge trunk, it was this massive box outside my door. Okay. So this is from Gatherings by Sheraton. Your ticket to a world of new weekly experiences that aim to ignite wonderlust and connect you with communities around the world. Oh, it's a oh, it's a collab with Reese's Book Club. Okay, so here's my package from Reese's Book Club. So cool. These are my favorite kind of glasses. They're perfect. I like them for literally everything. We have some coasters. We have this cheese board that has like knives already, which is awesome. Obviously, some books that were Reese's picks. That's like the, like if I had like a Kinsey's book club stamp on books, I would die. Um, Leatherology bookmarks are so nice. The book club homestead candle, that's a good um, gift for a reader. I'm sure they engrave these too. Single serve lattes, I haven't tried those. I have an electric or a wine corkscrew. It's just, oh my God, I'm like so happy. This is a dream package. Big news, I've decided on a tree topper. So we're gonna try this up. So Christmassy. Perfect tree topper. This is so soft. It's literally a thirty-five dollar pullover from H and M. It is so soft. Okay, so my mom came over last night and we ended up staying up talking until like 11.30 and then I couldn't, or like 11, and then I started reading, I'm in the middle of Iron Flame. So then I was reading that, which is taking me forever to get through. Listen, I love this series as much as the next person, but it needed to be 800 pages. Sorry, I feel like I'm feeling really negative right now. I'm just really tired. But um, I just feel like I'm literally at like 30%, I think. I don't even know if I'm at 30% yet. I feel like it's taking forever. Which in normal human books would probably be 100%, honestly. So it's seven right now. Macy is on her way. We're gonna go on a nice little walk this morning. Today's Friendsgiving, so this is a hosting day in my life. I'm only cooking a couple things though, so it's way less work than normal and I've already prepped. I feel like for some reason when I wear black leggings, I feel like it always looks weird with my shoes. Does that make sense? Like I know it just looks the same as anything else, but I don't know, like maybe the leggings go down too far and they need to go up more. I don't know, quick call time though, because I made an order from Beachy. I use Julia Haven's code, um, which I think is like Julia 30 or something like that, but um, I ordered some stuff from Beachy. I don't have a ton of stuff from them, but I've been seeing cute stuff, so I wanted to try it out. This sweater, and I got in a size medium. I wish I would have gotten in a size small because it's supposed to be like fitted, but I think I'm gonna wear this tonight. Has little like pearl deal, de what? <laughs> Detailing. I know, technically this would be a Christmas look, but this in jeans I think is my Friendsgiving look. Even though brown is like my favorite thing, maybe because it's not like I don't love brown. Um, I also got this skirt, which I thought this would be cute with like a champagne-y top tights and black heels I love that vibe I couldn't tell if I like hated this skirt or if I really liked it and I feel like I like it and I think it's good for holidays I'm always like god I wish I had like a nice skirt then I got this skirt which literally looks like my limited two bags growing up but I'm obsessed I love like sequiny vibes like this especially like wearing this with like a sweater like where you dress it down more I just think it's so much fun hopefully I have enough stuff to wear all these too. Like, I'm just manifesting a lot of, like, Christmas things. Oh, you know what? I guess I have gals in the go live show, too, so. And the girls are in town, so, like, we'll go do stuff, so. I don't know. I mean, not, like, crazy, but 
I don't know guys, I'm just trying to think out loud. Now I think I should wear brown because she's gonna be wearing a lot of red. Coffee by the way is so good. This creamer, I regret it, makes me like fall asleep. Kind of defeats the purpose. It's so cute. Wow. Totally. Friendsgiving prep outfit. I've just been running around, running errands. I still have to take Coco to an appointment in, oh, you know what? I'm meeting in 10 minutes and I have to leave. But before I do that, I am going to, I want to make that TikTok trend where you like tape a phone up here, but I want to do it like Friendsgiving wise. Oh my gosh, so loud. Where you, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just testing this out. Um, I set up my firewood holder as well, which was great, and I've just been prepping for Friendsgiving. I have a lot less to do today than I normally do because I'm not um, cooking everything. I got a ham from Honey Baked Ham because I don't feel like anyone likes turkey anyways, and why not? We've got uh, six people coming tonight, which is nice because most of the time when I do like dinner parties, I just invite so many people that we end up having to use two tables, and it just doesn't feel as like intimate because we're all split up so i feel like people come to my house and i don't even like get to talk to them and then we're doing the fire pit afterwards so i'm, gonna, I'm sure that will help <gasps> this is gonna look so cute So I'm in the middle of cooking. I love the brand Host, it's spelled like H-A-U-S-T-E for dinner planning or dinner party guides because they do a guide that tells you what time to start what and blah, 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 blah. Um, but the part about it that sucks is just wanting your food to be warm, but like not wanting, like needing to do other things. So anyways, so I think I'm just gonna cook everything, leave it out, not put the toppings on, then warm it up again right before and then put the toppings on because I have to make the other stuff. I don't know, but I got a new knife from our place, so I needed to vlog. Everything that I have in my kitchen that I love is our place. The knife, all of those like wooden spoons, this cutting board, um, I have so many things. I also hate all clutter that is back there, but it's just stuff for tonight. Um, that pan is our place. It is by far my favorite kitchen. Honestly, it might be your brand. I think it's one of them. Just love all their stuff. I paid for all of it. They sent me a pan in some um, bowls like three years ago and I've bought everything since. I just love their stuff and it replaces everything else. Like the Always Pan, I'll link them below guys. The Always Pan, that's the only pan that I use. I own like a whole other set. I don't even touch those. Like Judgmental. She wasn't. But she probably was in hindsight. A little bit, yeah. We're making the Thanksgiving spritz. It's actually so good. This is what I was making at the fire pit night the other night. Amazing. And I'm doing mental math. Oh, I thought that said 35 ounces. 3.5 times 8. 24. No, 3 times 8 is 28. But you're close. 3 times 8 is 28. Did you guys see that? 25 and I'm half. sorry. I meant. Yeah, 3 times yeah. 8 is 24. 24. So 25 and a half. 
Okay. That was really a lot. Something about that just it was too much. It was too much. Oh wait, I actually said all that and I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, well you just kind of went for it. Well, well 20, it's two cups. Eight, it's, it's two and a half cups. Okay, well let's just start with this. Three, three, and, really three, and, half, three and one point five ounces. Yeah. We're doing some mental math over it's here. It's like really a lot. For garnish. It's okay. I've already made a mental list of everything I forgot. I have rosemary and cinnamon sticks. Perfect. That's all we need. Okay. You actually have to lick it for the rest of your entire life. I tell this. I know. I think this would like, be like right whole big sauce. I'm not kidding. Okay. That's crazy. Hey guys, welcome to the vibes. Hey. Hey. Checking on your TikTok as usual. Just always checking in on our fans. Hey. Making sure they're taken care of. Um, one thing. Hello. Hello. Oh. oh my god, I, I saw how white hey. I looked in that. <laughs> no, you know what? Good morning, guys. Macy is the one who made us do a 7.30 workout right now, and she's standing in front of my car, shaking her head because she's so mad. She's the one who made me move to the 7.30. So anyways, having a great morning, made some coffee. Two types of people, you know? Just kidding, Macy's actually a morning person. But she actually technically isn't my first one, but she's always on the road. Real quick, here's my outfit. We're going to the ranch. I'll link everything below. And then I also have my friend of mine hat. I feel like a marshmallow. I look like a marshmallow. It's actually really cold. I think it was 40 degrees out like an hour ago. So, um, Macy, Leslie, and I, which Leslie is Macy's best friend. I love her. I'm taking them to the ranch and we're gonna go ride horses. Which is <laughs> out of the bathroom and she just had this light out. <laughs> like, I don't know what doing. Macy, what's your goal for today? Just to kind of like, well, to be completely transparent, it's 1 p.m. on a Wednesday and I am working. So just to kind of o'clock. unplug. <laughs> <laughs> She's on her lunch break. Um, yeah, like everyone has like different definitions of what that looks like for them. Mm -hmm. This is mine. But like my goal is just to kind of like get back to my roots. Oh, you're you're from California, from Los Angeles. Just kind of find peace. <laughs> oh, guys, update. Oh, I literally look like a marshmallow. Like that is not okay. <laughs> like. Not okay, literally. I'm looking a little windblown for Guys, sure. It was so fun. We, me it and was Leslie so fun. So much pretend. Okay, like normally when I go, like we have different trail ride vibes. Macy's is making a reality TV show, and mine is finding inner peace. We were. <laughs> that is my inner peace giggling on giggling. the horse. Yeah, it was really we funny. We were being annoying. No, you guys were not being annoying. You were being funny, and Jeff was like actually like laughing at your jokes. We were being super inappropriate back there too. <laughs> yeah, we just kept saying piss and shit and like. Oh my god. Oh my god, my hair is so tangled. Wait, who's <gasps> a brush? I have a brush. Ooh. No, I don't. No, I don't. Anyways, you guys liked it like you would go back? No, like that was the bite. I never wanted that to end. Yeah, it was really And fun. I like having like a chill ranch hand. Yeah, he's really chill. B-O-W-E-N. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. 
I'm back home. I am making a coffee. We are so tired, but I think it's already like 4.35 and tonight's the Wednesday before Thanksgiving. I'm not going home. So I obviously live in Dallas. I grew up in the suburbs of Dallas and McKinney. My parents don't live in McKinney anymore. So like when I go home, like when I go to my parents' house, like their new house, which isn't in McKinney anymore. It's a really long winded way of saying I don't want to go to like my actual hometown bar because I don't want to Uber 40 minutes and whatever. I feel like I used to be so excited for those nights and it might just be the fact that I live in like my hometown basically. Like it is really fun, don't get me wrong. I feel like I have those nights like throughout the year anyways because people just come home and go out in Dallas. It was so good. Like I just love being on the ranch. It gives me like a sense of peace I would never experienced in my life. My dream is to have land and I want horses and I want chickens and I want goats. That's like my 10 year plan. My hair is still tangly, but like I can't even, I literally, it's not my business right now, you know? I just wanted to have a little catch up with y'all. I also might be procrastinating reading Iron Flame Listen. Like I know we've talked about this. I love the series, I love the books, but something about a book that long, just overwhelms me. It's basically Thanksgiving break. Like I don't care how old I get, like it's always gonna be like winter break and Thanksgiving break to me. I wanna finish the book by Sunday, that's my goal. I almost said this yesterday because I had this like moment yesterday. Um, I didn't though because I was busy and I kinda hate that I'm saying it right now because I feel like it seems cheesy given the time of year because it's Thanksgiving but really this is like a totally like separate thing. I was just thinking like how grateful I am for like, my life and for like I think I've just been like a lot more reflective the past month and I feel like I've just had like a lot of like growth like emotionally personal growth like within myself and I've just been thinking about like how grateful I am and I say this all the time and I never want to take anything for granted but I just have like even just like the best friendships in the world. And like, I haven't always had that. Like I've always, I don't know how to describe this, but I've always had good friends. I've always been very lucky with good friends, but I haven't necessarily had like the social life that I wanted or like the group of people in my life that I wanted that like do things together and celebrate and do, you know what I'm saying? I don't know if that makes sense. Like I've always had individual friends that I've loved, but I haven't always had like a group of people around. It's just been like the biggest game changer, especially in your 20s. Like, I don't know, I feel like in my earlier 20s, especially when I lived in LA, I just felt very lonely. And I just remember I used to like dread Saturdays because I, I think I also just had pretty bad anxiety. So like, I just always felt like I needed to be home getting stuff done. So I like wouldn't be stressed out. I thought that was like gonna fix my anxiety or something. And also with anxiety, like being on a routine helps you. So like, that's why summer's hard for me too, because just the idea of summer, like it's less of a routine, even though it's the same thing for me every day, pretty much. Yeah, Saturdays, I just like always didn't love. And then I'd be like, I don't even know who to hang out with. I don't even know what to do. I just like didn't have the friendships and things that I really wanted. I felt very alone and very lonely. And I think I also, looking back, I don't think I felt very like aligned with myself, if that makes any sense. I feel like I was like a fish out of water trying to figure it out, like trying to figure out who I was. And I feel like at that age, everyone feels that way and it's super normal. But I just, I didn't feel like almost like at home with myself. I felt very like, I guess like just like a fish out of water, like feeling very like confused. And, um, and just like being back in Texas, it's now three years, three and a half years since I moved back, which is crazy. It's, I mean, it does feel like, it feels like I never even lived in LA and I'm glad that I moved and I'm glad that I did it. And this isn't to like shit on LA or like people who like LA. It's, when I was there, I actually really liked it. But I think that's the issue. Like my life there, like I thought I liked it. And then I moved here and I realized that like, oh my God, like I love it here so much more. And I just feel like it's a so much more me. Like even just like, being able to like go ride horses and the kinds of people here and just like text it. I don't know. I just feel like it's very me and it like feels right within my soul. If that makes sense. Like so dramatic, but I feel like I've just really been able to like thrive and really flourish and found the right friendships or like reconnected with the right friendships. And I just feel like I'm in a much better place, but also this is a total side note. That's not even what I was going to say. I just feel so lucky and grateful, like even for like my job and being able to like create a brand, like friend of mine that i love and I'm so passionate about and like we're doing so many fun and cool things and like just like even like being able to like vlog and podcast and do all these things that I'm like genuinely really passionate about 
for my job, which hasn't like, oh, hello. And I just wish that like my younger self, like I could go back to like 21 year old Kenzie, 22, 23 year old Kenzie almost, and just be like, it gets so much better because my earlier 20s were just a mess and really rough. I don't even know if any of this is making sense. I've just been feeling like very grateful and I never want to be someone who like doesn't recognize that and doesn't, I don't know, honestly, it's not even recognizing it publicly. Like I want to like live a life thinking about that because I really am just so lucky. I also did in my earlier 20s deal with a lot of grief. Like we lost my an immediate family member and then my cousin within the span of 18 months and that was very, very difficult. So I think that that also like played a part into it and it has definitely impacted the way obviously that I view life that holidays go like even with like oh my god i'm like not trying to cry like oh my god oh my god guys this is like not what i was expecting i don't know my mom was oh my god like am i okay like my mom was over the other night we we're just like talking we lost a step sibling and i was just talking about like different things and i had a call with someone and i just i don't know like oh my god like i'm crying like i recognize that holidays are very hard for people. We lost my stepbrother in December. So Christmas, as we're such a Christmas family, it really has not been the same, obviously. Nothing we do, honestly, is the same. It feels like when you lose a family member, especially in your immediate family. And then we also lost my step-grandpa within four months. Like, it was just like a lot of death around at the same time. I'm like trauma dumping, sorry guys. Um, there's a point. I just feel like Christmas has not been the same. I feel like a lot of things just aren't the same because it's like when you lose someone that close to your family, it's kind of like there's always like an elephant in the room, if that makes sense. Like that's the only way I would be able to describe like the, I don't know. I don't even know how to describe it. My family, my mom, we just have always, like my entire family has always just loved Christmas so much and it's always been such a big thing. So I feel like it's just something to like really fight to like still have and love. And like obviously as time goes on, it gets better. But it's just something like tradition and I don't know. I already came from a broken family. Like my parents are divorced. Like I, we weren't all together. So there's like that element of the holidays and then there's this. So also I just want to say like if the holidays are a hard time for you and you guys are sitting here like watching my vlogs where it's like all I talk about. Like I get it. I see you. Like I really, really get it. Um, the way that I cope with it I think is just by pushing through and like still like I don't want to lose Christmas I don't want to like give that stuff up in my life because we've already lost so much if that makes any sense but I understand like sometimes it's just too hard and like you've got to do what you got to do this ketchup has really gone all over the place like oh my god another thing that I think again I've just been like really self-reflective I'm also working on my like 2023 podcast episode um like recap of the year and just like things that I've learned and I don't know if this is an age thing or if it's a grief thing, or if it's just like a part of like the nature of my job. I just notice on social media, obviously it's become like a very, very negative place these days. And we were not created to like live in a world, and I love social media to be clear, but like we weren't created to live in a world where you can hear this many people's different opinions about yourself or about someone else. We weren't even supposed to like when all when creation happened, like we didn't even know what was going on in the town next to us, right? Like, let alone like all over the world which also has definitely has its benefits obviously but i i more so mean just like just like the negative stuff that doesn't really like matter as much in the grand scheme of things i try to at least not be like super critical of other people because i just think like you never know like if you don't know someone personally i also think it's like slightly there is something slightly embarrassing and don't get me wrong i do this we all do this i get it but like there's something slightly embarrassing about having like a really strong opinion about someone that like you don't know you know what i mean but also it's just like the nature of like life and it happens and like pop culture stuff is fun like whatever like i, I get it but like about like a random person who's done nothing to you i don't know with that being said I'll, i'm still gonna have them like you know what i mean like it's not like i don't i'm just saying like I do think about that sometimes about how like it is kind of embarrassing, but I just have been listening to a lot of like Ed Milet and stuff and just thinking about like what are ways that I can spend my energy in a better ways? Like how can I utilize my time better? How can I utilize my resources better to do whatever it is? How can I basically just like all we have at the end of the day is our time and like, our energy, right? Like how can I place my energy in ways that are the most beneficial for everyone involved i don't know i just think like being so hateful and like attacking people like i just see like even girls that i follow on social media like get annihilated on the internet and i'm like all of the people who are in the comments and especially like certain people that you know it's just because they're jealous of them it's like 
those people who are in those comments it's like if you just use half that energy that you do hating them and like commenting online to like then you secretly probably want to be doing what they're doing if you just use that energy to then become and create your own life for yourself that's more similar more aligned to what you want which might have a lot to do with what they have i just think the world would be a better place like i just think like i check myself on this often like if i have negative feelings towards someone and they haven't like done anything to me personally i'm like okay like it probably like something within me wants something that they have maybe or i'm like projecting my own insecurities or fears or whatever it is like onto them the way that we feel about other people oftentimes is just like a protect projection of ourselves if that makes any sense um so anyways i'm just trying to like spend my time in the most beneficial way and like not be a hater if that makes any sense like and i i'm not I naturally am like a pretty like open optimistic person. I'm not really critical of people. My mom is that way. Like I get it from her, but like I'll fall it. I'll like see myself doing it. And I'm like, that is such an ugly like trait and quality. And it's also like embarrassing. Like I'm like, I'm literally embarrassed. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. So I'm just thinking about like ways to spend my time in a more positive way, in a more impactful way, in a more beneficial way. This camera is dying. So I'm gonna go right now. I'm just rambling. Um, I don't know if any of that made sense. I hope that it did. I love y'all. If you guys are having a hard Thanksgiving, like, or Christmas, like, I, I get it. And I'm so sorry. Like, it is, especially people who are dealing with grief. Like, I am so sorry. There's just, you guys know if you're dealing with this, there's no words that can make it better. But just know, um, that I'm so sorry. Like, I've spent multiple holidays just throughout the, uh, the years crying. Not even before, like, honestly, before that. Like, just brings out the worst of people and ourselves, honestly. So, anyways, love y'all. I'm going to try to read Iron Flame and get back to you guys, which I honestly might just scroll Instagram, so. It's later. Um, Macy and I are going to Inwood Tavern. I'm just gonna get, like, a Dr. Pepper or something. I don't know. I don't feel like going out and, like, doing much, but I want to, like, be around people for, like, an hour or so and then go home. You know what I mean? This bomber is the vegan leather bomber from Set Active. It's amazing. It's on sale right now as I'm talking. It's probably not when you guys are seeing this video, but I love it. My skin's long sleeve, same Abercrombie jeans, my favorite boots, and he's from Tacovas. I realized that in all my gift guides, which by the way are all available right now on my LTK, and then I also have an entire solo podcast episode that I think I'm gonna post the video of it to this channel so you guys can kind of see like what it is like to like watch a podcast, but also it's like a gift guide, so I feel like it's like similar to a YouTube video. I didn't put any Tacovas on there. Like I don't know how I didn't do that, but like if you're going to give someone Tacovas, give them the Annie's. I will link them below, and then my favorite. These are my like classic favorite that you just can't go wrong with. And then my like favorite, like style-wise, the Josie, I'm obsessed. But Annie's you can wear year round, Josie you really don't. for Thanksgiving dinner. Um, this is my outfit, I'll link everything below. I love this outfit so much. And then I'm just gonna wear my normal bag, it doesn't match, but I'm literally just going to my parents' house, so who cares? H&M, Macy's on 34th, Revolve, Abercrombie, Jacoba's. Um, most of this is pretty inexpensive, actually. Adina's Eden, so I'll link everything. I am literally obsessed. And then I'm obviously bringing my dinner cards. And yeah, we're heading out. I made green bean casserole, as y'all saw already. Um, and I got to go, I have to go pick up my sister's dog. I said we did pizza like Hi. Everybody Ooh. gets their Friday. Just cooks them in the Instapot. Like like Hi. Like That's my little brother. Hot sauce and dip it in See? Yeah. No, we did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. 
Ah! I didn't taste anything. The kids' table. Baby. What is your dream way to spend the morning? This little house is so cute.